And gentlemen, so you're back at it again, huh? Nukes top five. You love that, huh? Let's get it. Drop a thumbs up. And let's the get road it. to nowhere. Paranormal investigators from the YouTube channel Paranoiacs travel to a secluded forest road in the mountains of Germany. Germany? The roadway is said to be haunted by the restless spirit of a young woman named Elizabeth, who tragically passed away in an accident on the road over 40 years ago. Locals refer to the ghost that haunts the roadway as, quote, the woman in black. The paranoiacs are driving down the lone forest road in hopes of capturing anything supernatural on camera. One if you believe, two if you don't believe. What happens next is downright chilling. Okay, downright chill. Oh my god, I gotta lower the volume. Oh no, I gotta... I gotta lower the volume a little. What? I wanna... My god, you see those eyes? Dude, why would you even stop? Was there someone there? Or Maybe she moved? What? G CGI or what? Bro, if you see that, bro, just... Just peace out. Yo, would you actually stop and look for it or nah? Yeah, I would put my foot on the accelerator and peace out. We have a whole Bro, she has to be there. Look, where could she go? Nobody can find A strange this. woman dressed in all black can be seen standing at the side of the road. The Paranoiac's team is shocked and quickly back up their car, but the woman has just disappeared. <laughs> they get out of their car and search, but she's nowhere to be found. Three Makes months later, and the Paranoiac's team return to the same road and bring along friends. They park their car, set up a static camera, and set out to explore. But while they are away, their static camera captures something truly terrifying. Mm, truly terrifying. Oh my god. E, e, e. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm seeing nothing. Is that like a shadow thing? Like small smoke? Cover me. The shadow's still moving. Real or fake? Imagine somebody's like, you know, wearing a green suit on and is like, no man, just let As me the run static away. camera records, a translucent apparition walks across the road and disappears into thin air. When the Paranoiac's team returns, they don't see anything or anyone around. They don't even discover what they have captured until later when they review their footage. So could this be the spirit of Elizabeth, the quote, you, woman in black? Endlessly wandering and lost on the lone. I don't know, man. This could be faked out by Adobe After Effects as well. Toss chat, you think it's legit or fake? Forest Road. Let me know what you think. You can find more spooky it's videos compelling. over on the YouTube channel. Shabab, hi, Garn Pardgi, kaise man? A sixth sense. In another strange video, Reddit user ACC6894 says that his brother's girlfriend has two German shepherds. A CCTV camera records the dogs who have been left home alone one night. They begin to act very strangely. And then this happens. Yeah, if, a, if a dog... If a dog howls like that? What? <laughs> what? The dogs seem disturbed by something in the corner of the room. Then suddenly a chest drawer comes <laughs> flying out at them, startling the poor doggies. Reddit Damn. user ACC6894 has no idea what happened to the dogs and believes the CCTV might have recorded something paranormal. But I what do you in the think window. happened here? I saw something in the window uh, on top. Let me know. Maybe a reflection. Follow a reflection. Home. Ghost Hunter Robert from the paranormal investigation team Para Evident claims that ever since they went to the allegedly haunted Montanay Hotel in Arkansas on an investigation, something seems to have followed him home 
to his apartment. He says as lights flicker, electronic devices turn on and off on their own, and creepiest of all, he's seen horrifying apparitions in his home. The entire <laughs> para-evident team decide to investigate the haunting <laughs> in Robert's home. During the investigation, Robert and team member Joshua set up an SLS camera and begin to ask questions through a Spirit Box phone app. What happens next? Yeah, does Spirit Box actually works? One if you tried that, two if you never tried Spirit Box. It's truly bizarre. I wanna see if you have or not. Oh, eat, eat. Can you show yourself? Did you see it? A pale figure can be seen passing by the TV in Robert's bedroom. Strangely enough, the apparition can only be seen on the SLS camera. Josh and Robert have no idea what this bizarre figure could be, and they believe it just might be the dark entity that's haunting Robert's apartment. But what do you think? You can find more very spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Para Evident. Evident spelled with It might be a Shivava just passing by. The three. House tour gone wrong. Nuke's top five viewer Paul sent in a video he recorded at his home in Glasgow, Scotland. Paul says that since his family moved into their new home, they've been hearing odd noises during the night and have had the strange feeling that they're just not alone. Paul has just always shrugged it off. But one day, Paul is recording a video of their new house to show his aunt, and things take a terrifying turn. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think just it's want to show you the door of the house. This is the cupboard. This is the hallway actually, and the cupboard's nothing much in there. It's not very big, but it's all right. Stairs to upstairs, I'll show you that in a bit. Ow. Show you the uh, bathroom first. Ow! So, Ow. so Ow. we've got proper bath, sink and toilet. That's it. What more do you want? There's nothing else. We've got the shower there as well. Um, that's all right, it's nice and clean. I quite like it. Anyway. Oh my god. Eat, eat. I'll show you the. Uh, the kitchen first, so you come in Dude, you space, the camera? turn left to the kitchen. It's not very light, not light, it's not very good. So it's, yes, we've got a hog on the washing machine. It's quite a big old kitchen actually, if you have a look. So we haven't actually got two fridge freezers. This one broke down a few months ago. We just haven't been Why able to get rid of it. It's too big to fit in the car and that. Um, but other than that, yeah. Um, little garden out the back. We built the shed last summer. That's uh, right. But this, I, I like this fair so I've got that <laughs> breakfast bar and the oven and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, it's good. All right, so living space. Uh, little front of our house. That's yeah, supposed to be a little scary, driveway. It a, should have a drop curb, but it hasn't. Um, oh, oh, snap, okay. Evie, she's been jumping up on the surfaces quite a bit. But actually, look, something haven't got spooked then. Dude, what? Uh, you're some sort of laugh, aren't you? Can, what? You see that? So the, dra the drawers, everything is open? Yo, why are you moving that way? Bro, you stop moving Paul hears like the that. sudden sound of a broom falling in his kitchen, and when he goes to check it out, all the cabinet doors have suddenly opened. Paul can't believe what he has witnessed and just stops recording. In his email, Paul explains that he was pretty spooked by the experience. And, well, who wouldn't be? So what would you do if this were to happen to you? Uh, one if stage, two if not. Luca, I've already seen that. I think I've seen that. You told me in the comments before. I think I saw Let that. Let me know. Maybe it was someone else. in the uh, comments. Before we move on to the next video, if you see... Four years ago, she recorded a video when she suddenly heard her young daughter, Loralee, talking to someone. Even though they were the only ones at home at the time. Yeah, no. Years go by. And eventually Genevieve goes back through her old videos and is shocked when she discovers that she might have actually captured what her young daughter was talking Could to. Could be edited, yeah. Many turns. Lorely, come here. Uh, I've seen it, I know, I've seen it. Lorely, who are you playing with? What? What are you doing? What the her hell? Her mom Genevieve doesn't seem to see, but it looks like a shadow walks right behind little Lorely. Bro, okay, I want to know, like, what's more scary, seeing, like, a... Uh, teen girl ghost or like a full-blown adult ghost Lee. genevieve What's asks her daughter who she's playing with but the girl has no answer 
It looks so like could a teen. It, be Genevieve's it looks like a teen girl a ghost. This house is haunted and her daughter could see the spirit? Maybe even talk to it? Or could this video just be an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. Creepy mm -hmm. Crawler. This next strange video was emailed to me by Mohammed Al Badri from the city of Aden in Yemen. Mohammed claims that his Bismillah. Start praying, man. Start praying, boys. His friend was driving home when he spotted something absolutely terrifying. Uh, I'm the man listening, allegedly by the way, so... pulled out his phone and started to record. Hey, oh, oh my! You Arab ghost son? Yo, Arab ghost My guy said, "Wallahi." Okay, let's check. It's gonna be real, man. A horrifying pale creature with six legs comes scurrying out from behind a dumpster. Muhammad's friend is shocked and quickly what? just gets out of there. Bro! <laughs> Yo, that jumped out of nowhere! I paused at the wrong moment and the second I played it jumped out. Now, I'm in no way saying that this is real, but it's definitely very creepy and if fake, it's very well done. Yeah, it has, so is it real? It has shadow too. So if this is fake, it's made by some, uh, some, some good visual effect artist. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? One if legit, two if you not. You decide. Thoughts, boys? Off the grid. YouTuber Kevin Lake and his wife Dearly from the YouTube channel Homesteading Off the Grid have made their home on a remote patch of land in Central Virginia. After moving to their new secluded country home. They began to notice strange things in the woods around them. One day Kevin's neighbor is taking a walk through the woods near their property line and he starts to notice movement in the forest. He takes out his phone and begins to record and he soon spots something truly bizarre. Truly bizarre, downright chilling, truly terrifying. Two rounds fired, two rounds fired. Wait, what? Wait, what? It disappeared? Oh no, it's sitting? You imagine? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna turn. It's gonna turn. Start walking. NPC, bot, or ghost? And it disappeared. Why do you have a feeling it's gonna come from the other side and just run towards them? Uh oh. Uh oh! He's peeking, he's leaning, taking cover. Oh snap. Is that a tree? What? What's that? What's that? Toby? Is that a to to Yo! As Casper site would say, ma maximum HD, please. It's looking at him, right? Yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna run towards them, bro. Oh, oh my. Oh, it's big! What? What? Where's MP5? It disappeared? Dog, what's that? How are you normal after that? Someone or something appears to be skulking around in the woods near a cave, just watching the man. Curious viewers of Kevin's channel believe it could be anything from a hiding squatter, a hunter, a backpacker, and then there are some viewer explanations that are a bit more out there, like claims that this is a skinwalker or a sasquatcher or even an entity uh, uh Jage, go around the channel they showed the everywhere game from xgt devs wearing an invisibility cloak on the channel already hmm either way kevin and his neighbor have no GTA idea sucks. who or whatever this is and why it would be on their property back I don't know, man. to church a while ago i featured paranormal investigators david and dell from the youtube channel signs and signals the two friends have been investigating an allegedly haunted church in Chester, South Carolina that is over 200 years old. Long ago in the early 1900s, it's believed that the church was the site of dark ritualistic ceremonies. 
David and Dell hadn't gone back to the church for a long time until one day they happened to drive through the city of Chester and recorded something bizarre that they still can't explain. It's a, dude, it's a candle. Yeah, we got two stud donuts. You imagine oh, something snap. like jumps out. <laughs> oh, 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 God. oh, oh. After the terrifying experience, David and Dell decided to go back to the church for one more late night investigation. Not long after entering the, the, the thing that kind of is weird, um, I need like all the data scientists right now because we usually hear that uh, ghost will not come anywhere closer inside a mosque or inside like a like church, uh, you know, in the religious areas, they would not. And sometimes you see that I, I feel like most of these clips are fake whenever you see that, especially. But any anybody got a good explanation? In the creepy building, the two friends witnessed something truly chilling. I've never seen a video of like a ghost like be showing in the mosque. I've never seen any video like that, but you know, there are videos where, like, I mean, from Nukestrop 5, where you see a ghost in church. I don't believe that. I really don't believe that. I feel like that's fake. Like, uh, there might be like real videos, but I doubt that like a ghost would be uh, be showing in inside like a church. You know what I mean? Because it's a religious place. It's, you, you know what I mean, right? Thoughts? Let me just grab the cam. Oh my god. The chair bro. slides across the floor completely on its own. And the guys decide to take a break outside to gather their courage before continuing their investigation. Eventually, they head back inside and sit down on the church pews. They begin to ask questions of the entity that may be haunting the building. And something seems to answer. So we know you're here. And we're respectful. Uh, day three says unless the church is doing dark stuff. Okay, that that makes okay. Okay, I think that makes sense. Well, you just talk to us. There's something you want to tell us, I guess, right? Yeah, I, I'm Muslim, so we do believe in jinns and uh, uh, like other worldly stuff and whatnot. But but I think most of it is fake, like the videos, especially. If you don't understand me, I want you to nod once for yes and twice for no. Can you understand me? Oh my god, you something will jump out. I should not be that close, man. Oh, you why did it went dead silent? Ooh. Be surprised how much of it it is real so why are you here as david and dell record a dark uh, be honest chat one if you think most of the videos are real two if you think most of the videos are fake shadow like mass seems to walk past the doorway right in front of them now the two guys didn't even notice the figure until they reviewed their footage later but since the investigation the two friends have decided not to return to the church for a while just let you guys know that we might slow down on going to the church as often. Damn. Things have been going on in our personal lives since we've been going back there more. Me and David are starting to have experiences in our own houses. And it's really annoying when you can't get good sleep at home because you'll be waking up in the middle of the night to bangs. You're thinking, oh, somebody's breaking into my house. Nobody's there. Nothing's in there. Nobody's awake. Startles everyone. Hopefully just kind of straying away from the church a little bit might help because it really only started to heat up once we started to go there so did david and dell capture real paranormal activity on camera so is that church like not active um because somebody said that if they're doing evil stuff then that stuff could show at the church let me know what you think i think it's an abandoned you can church, watch more footage and right? investigations at the haunted church over on their youtube channel 
Signs. I uh, want most ghosts in, her in the dark. Most demons thrive in the dark. Cats see the. the, the. Yeah, I do. I, I feel like the, the videos where we see the, the cats and the pets, dogs, whenever they react differently. We, in fact, had a video earlier where, like, the dog just, you know, reacted different way. Whenever kids and dogs and pets, they react differently and strange, that's when I believe it. You know, sometimes kids are like, yeah, I see dark figure. I talk with someone. He's my friend or she's my friend. Whenever I see shit like that, I'm like, okay, there's, there's a high chance those videos are real unless the parents have uh made them say that on camera but nor usually speaking like kids don't lie usually speaking dogs don't lie you know what i mean so i believe that more and signals a walk in the woods one very early morning before daybreak nick foster takes his cute little dog poppy into the woods near his home and records a video of poppy chasing squirrels through the dark forest later when nick looks back at his video he notices something that gives him the creeps. Yo, what? Anybody knows this dog breed? Like, that's a cute dog, man. Yo, this is gonna be bad, dude. Uh-oh. Come here. Come here. This way. They didn't see? Right before Nick stops recording, someone or something can be seen in the woods right in front of him. Nick says he was completely alone and no one else would have been there in the hours when he recorded this footage. Nick says he's very skeptical of the paranormal, but he does believe that he might have captured an apparition. So could this strange pale figure be a ghost? Or just someone randomly out for a stroll through the dark woods? And strangely all dressed in white let me know what you think Yo, it's either all dressed up in white or black why can a brother perhaps see that in red like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like maybe blue color red color <laughs> right Chad? It's like it's always white or black the secret shadow paranormal researcher Crystal luna sets out to investigate an abandoned house now turned into a warehouse in michoacan mexico the house was left abandoned after the owner, an elderly woman who lived there her whole life, passed away a few years ago. The old building is now used as a warehouse to store grains, and many local workers claim to have seen the terrifying apparition of a woman aimlessly wandering the property. One night, Chriselle and her friend Melissa investigate the warehouse, but besides some odd noises, they don't really experience or capture much of anything. However, when Chriselle posts her video to YouTube, many of her viewers spot something in her video footage that she didn't even notice. Something okay. very creepy. However, ahorita vamos a ingresar. Oh, is, is that her shadow or what? Is that her shadow or what? Uh, ahí dentro para que ustedes puedan ver, pero sí me gustaría No, that's the shadow. Pues me gustaría Pedir la presencia like es algo que he estado haciendo últimamente. 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 Es algo que he estado no sé si aquí tengan un gato, un perro, si están escuchando ruidos extraños. Bro, would you, why would you be even in this place to begin with? Yo, one, if you would never go to, go to a place like that. Oh, oh, yo, what, 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 run that back. That looked like a. What? It's not there? What? What? What the hell? You will see something once then. Once like, like right here. Watch that. Watch that. You you see that? It look like eyes to eyes. That's the 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 slit for the mouth. It's looking like a small cat dog, kind of like looking in a devil demonic way. I don't know. That looks like a face to me, man. <laughs> There's nothing here. Did you see it? 
Chrisella has just started her investigation when an unexplained dark figure can be seen walking inside the abandoned home. Neither Chriselle or her friend see the creepy apparition. Uh, Gamescom just ended. Just rewind the stream, I guess. But they can both hear strange noises coming from inside. But when they go in and inspect the room, there's just no one there. So did Chriselle capture the old woman that is said to haunt the property? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> you can watch more spooky- but Click on this video on the screen and we'll see you right there. Subscribe. Hit the bell.